Hello guys, so this is a simple very lock code of Steppa Moto. First of all, you have to go to the file menu and open the new project. Here already new project is open. Now, you have to type the program. Before that, you have to create a name and give the location. Let me give a simple name like Steppa Moto. Press the next button and let it be very lock code go to the next and finish give the yes button a simple window opens now go to the new and text file ok now we have to type the entire program which is in your manual but we simply cut and paste here after typing the program you have to save the file give it a name let me give it as king kartik tutorials save it you can check now go to the stimulation before going to stimulation add source king k open ok then a window will pop up like this go to the stimulation press on the stepper mode and check for any errors behavioral check if it shows right then there is no error in your program go on the next step is to add create a UCF file the procedure for creating UCF file is as first you have to go to the stimulation new source and the third option that is implementation of constraint fail implementation constraint fail give it a name tutorial or let me give a simple name let the location be same click on next and finish now this is the UCF file here you have to give the pin number configuration for the kit you are using you are typing the UCF file now we are going to just copy and paste the UCF file it will be in your manual you can copy there uh, you can also create your own if you have some experience you have to practice for that or else you can hide the thing after pasting the UCF file you have to save it after that then you can go to the implementation select the stepper motor king a. then design utilities sorry synthesis we are going to check synthesis wait until it goes correct Now we will show how to connect the kit. Here is the kit. This is an electrical input circuit board, a USB cable, 3 data cables, a USB programmable for FPGA, power adapter, a kit of FPGA and a stepper motor. After typing the program and creating a UCF file, you have to dump into a program. Sorry, you have to dump it into a kit. Here is how you can make the connections. First take the USB cable and USB programmable for FPGA, connect it and give it to USB port. Now the USB programmable for FPGA has to be connected to this pin. This pin is shown here. Yeah, this is how we can make the connection. This is the main power source, it is connected to film here and is given to this place where it is mentioned power. Now based on the UCF file you have created, you should have you should have given some locations here. See this is the pin number 82, this is pin number 84, have to check it here in the FPGA kit. 
FRC 1 states 80, 81, 82, 84. This location is the input for. Check for FRC 1 here. Connect a data cable from FRC 1, which is the input port, and connect it to input port here. DIP switch. The output D out 0, 1, 2, 3 are like pin number 2, P number, pin number 5, pin number 6. Let us check it here. Pin number 2, pin number 5, 6. That is FRC 9. Check for FRC 9. FRC 9 is here. Connect a data cable from FRC 9 and give it to output stepper motor. Switch on. And in FPGA also you have to switch on. Immediately you can see a yellow light here in USB programmable for FPGA. The, the circuit is proper if and only if the yellow light appears here. This is the overlook of all the connections. Here this is the input circuit. Input circuit FRC1. USB programmable from laptop or desktop to the input. And FRC9 is the output given to stepper motor. After all the connections, now press on synthesis once again under the process. Then implement design. Press on no. Wait for it to implement. Here, here you can see the translate, map and place route options. Take some time. This is what happens after implement design is clicked. Then generate programmable file no it takes some time wait for it to operate it shows some exclamatory mark don't worry go on next configure target device press on no it shows some warning press on ok a pop up window will open here boundary scan right click co all device keep initialize scan or chain sorry s or no 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 De device to apply ok identify success Next step is left click on the second device, assign the new configuration file. It will be saved as stepper motor dot bit, whatever you gave the name previously. Press on that. This is the bit file. Add this to the program. Open. No. We click no because it is temporary. Now left click program apply. Okay. Program succeed. Once the program is succeeded, we had to check it in the kit by giving the clock and reset values and check the output in stepper motor. Let me give some random values for clock and reset and check the output. See, this is the rotation of stepper motor. This is what the output you have to show it in the lab. The switch is in this mode. The stepper motor will rotate fast. Once you apply this pulse down, this one, you can check the output. It will be slower compar comparatively. Now the stepper motor is rotating anti-clockwise. If you want to make it clockwise, you have to make the button 2 to be high. And now you can check the output. It is now rotating clockwise. 
This is the overall procedure on how to complete the stepper motor experiment.